Mr. Orr. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Robert Orr, Jr. I'm a retired attorney from Franklin, Tennessee, a member of the Thorium Energy Alliance. I was here for the same conference that's been referred to. A lot of my thunder has been stolen, which makes my job a lot easier. I've represented clients in front of judges and juries for 35 years, and uh, now as a retired attorney, I only have one client, and it is by far the most important client that I have ever represented or ever expect to represent, and that client is clean, safe, cheap electric power for the future furnished by molten salt reactors, specifically the lifter that's already been referred to. I don't have time to go through the, uh, the manifold benefits and superiorities of molten salt technology because we're not given enough time. Uh, Senator Alexander, our senator from Tennessee, in July of 2009 proposed something that he calls a, a blueprint for 100 new nuclear reactors over the next 20 years. That is a marvelous, marvelous idea. He has it right. But as uh, Mr. Connolly pointed out, he is advocating existing solid fuel technology that is, which by the way is in every nuclear reactor on Earth. And that's what's given us Three Mile Island, Chernobyl, and now has given us Fukushima. The differences between solid fuel reactor, the reactors of the past, the 60-year-old technology that's done pretty well, but not well enough, and the, the new old technology, which is only 50 years old, as we've heard about with uh, Alan Weinberg and his brilliant scientists at Oak Ridge, and that's molten salt technology. Um, it will address virtually every problem that you can identify associated with solid fuel uh, reactor is solved and solved forever by molten salt technology, the lifter. Now, the reason we're members of this uh, uh, organization is to spread the word, to educate people who are against lifter technology either don't know about it, and that's what we're trying to, uh, to, to solve, but if they do know about it and they're not in favor of it, then it's everyone's job to ask why. Why are you not in favor of it? And then listen very, very, very closely to the answer, analyze the answer. I can virtually guarantee that the answer that you hear will not solve the uh, electricity problems for the rest of the world and for the rest of history in a clean, safe, abundant, cheap way. Lifter technology will do that. The Chinese are developing it. While, while y'all are sitting right here, the Chinese are working vigorously and aggressively to take this technology away from us. And then, as Mr. Connolly pointed out, when they do that, we're going to have to go to them hat in hand to get it back. It, it's our technology. It's sitting on a shelf. There are scientists at the University of Tennessee today who would like nothing better than to dust that technology off, start where it ended, and I think sincerely within 10 years we could shut down every coal plant on Earth. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Orr.